It's been only a few months since the .NET 8 and C Sharp 12 release back in November of last year. However, the .NET team has been already working on the first preview version of .NET 9, which is now available to download. And with .NET 9 Preview 1, we already get a few new features that I want to share with you today. Let's quickly look at the vision statement Microsoft released with the Preview 1 of .NET 9. The most important focus areas are cloud-native and intelligent app development. You can expect significant investments in performance, productivity and security, as well as advancements across the platform. What I read between those lines is that we will get further improvements in AI-assisted code completion, as well as further performance improvements across all of the .NET APIs. Our goal is to make .NET development more productive using Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code with the c -sharp Dev Kit and cloud deployments easier using Azure services. The c -sharp Dev Kit for Visual Studio Code is pretty new. And when it comes to new features, I'm pretty sure we will see a lot of new stuff coming the following months, especially with the release of .NET 9 next November. For Visual Studio, I expect a new major version coming by the end of this year. I don't have any official information backing this up, however, I would be surprised if we wouldn't get a new release of Visual Studio after 3 years. Remember, we got Visual Studio 2022 back in November 21 with the release of .NET 6. It's all speculation by me at this point, however, I could really see this happening. Enough talking about .NET 9 Preview 1, let's finally look at the first new feature that we got with Preview 1. We get three new link methods, which are count by, aggregate by and index. The count by method is a shorthand for grouping by a key and then counting by the key. We can see an example in the documentation that takes a full sentence, splits it into its words, makes it all lowercase and counts how many times the same word exists. The aggregate by method allows us to define an aggregating method and a seed value. Compared to the existing aggregate method, we can also provide a key selector. The index method returns the item and the index as a value tuple. As far as I understand, it's not a new feature but a different API. With previous .NET versions, we already could iterate items and get the index using an overload of the select method. However, the index method now provides a different interface using value tuples. We will see if that has performance implications or other advantages that I'm currently not able to see. I'm currently not working on any .NET MAUI projects. However, I'm more than glad to see that Microsoft puts a lot of effort into fixing the existing issues on the Android and iOS side. And with .NET 9 Preview 1, we got over 60 fixes for the Android side and even more for the iOS platform. We also get a new remove method for the priority queue collection type. I have to admit that I mostly write business applications using the .NET platform and haven't really had a use case where I used low-level code like this. However, for those scenarios, the newly added remove method on the priority queue type might be helpful. Another change is that the type descriptor is now fully thread safe. If you have experienced any issues in that area, consider reading more about it in the official release notes of .NET 9 Preview 1. The cryptography as well as the system text JSON namespaces have also received a few updates that could be interesting to some of you. Something else very important to know is that with .NET 9, Microsoft changed the way they provide us with information about preview releases. Instead of releasing blog posts in their .NET developer blogs, they will now add all the information in GitHub issues or GitHub discussions. Make sure to adjust your notification settings in order to get notified whenever a new .NET preview version is available. I'm already looking forward to getting the new .NET release by the end of the year. 
With the first preview version, we already got to see the vision that Microsoft shared about their goals of .NET 9, as well the first few changes, including three new link methods. If you want to explore the new changes yourself and maybe try your existing applications using .NET 9 Preview 1, you can download the binaries from the .NET website. I'm definitely going to follow the .NET 9 Preview versions in the future. And if you want to make sure you won't miss future updates and want to learn anything else about .NET development, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.